For most assets and risky assets primarily, expected return is directly tied to being compensated for expected inflation. When inflation pans out as per expectations, traditional assets such as stocks, bonds and cash are expected to do well. But when inflation that materializes is different or drastically different from what was priced in or expected by market participants, asset prices get impacted. There are certain assets that do well during periods of unexpectedly high inflation. Historically, commodities have served this purpose well, outperforming other asset classes when inflation has been unexpectedly high. No single asset class does best in each inflationary environment, so being broadly diversified is the only way to hedge against an inflation surprise. In addition, commodity arbitrage can also potentially earn high-risk adjusted returns. Commodity market has been there for 15 to 16 years. However, there has not been any institutional participation. In order for the commodity markets to grow, either new participants are required or new products are required or both. SEBI has taken the new participants route for now. This regulation provides institutional platforms like mutual funds, PMS and AIF's CAT 3 to take exposure towards commodity ETCDs. Indicative list of commodities eligible for investing are bullion, industrial metals, energy and few agriculture commodities. However, except few sensitive commodities like chana, wheat, sugar are prohibited. Equities, whether in form of stocks or mutual funds, are closely related to each other and tend to have positive correlation with one another. Commodities, on the other hand, are a bet on unexpected inflation and they have a low to negative correlation to other asset classes. Commodities can have offered superior returns. Some of the commodities carry a higher volatility than equities and some are less volatile than equities. However, by adding commodities to a portfolio of assets that are less volatile, the overall portfolio risk decreases due to the negative correlation. In the present context, commodity arbitrage offers superior risk-adjusted rewards and hence commodity portion will predominantly comprise of that. Directional calls could be taken towards gold and other selective commodities. Fund would have exposure towards 65-80% to in equities. 10 to 25% in commodities, including predominantly commodity arbitrage and will include gold, and 10 to 25% in fixed income. Commodities through arbitrage and selective directional strategies have the potential to generate returns across market phases. Diversification and low correlation across equity, commodities, fixed income, as well as superior returns in commodity arbitrage, therefore, will reduce the risk with less volatile returns and have consistency of return. It is not a dynamic asset allocation fund. Since the asset allocation is generally static, investors will not miss out on sudden gains in an asset class. Automatic rebalancing by a team of specialists who are professional asset managers without taxation impact to the investor will be ensured. Aggressive equity exposure with a provision of cushion by equity arbitrage gives stability to the portfolio. And equity taxation will be ensured for better net returns to the investor. In equities, it will be a well-rounded investment strategy with investment ideas across earning cycle and across market caps. Portfolio construction would be a combination of stocks with potential profits and returns, earning surprises and turnaround candidates. Fixed income portfolio would focus on high quality and liquid papers and focus would be in generating accrual income with some returns from interest rate movements. An individual investor can do and does asset allocation on his own. He can buy an active equity mid-cap and small-cap fund, an equity nifty 50 ETF, a bond fund and, and a gold ETF. However, doing this through a multi-asset fund offers multiple advantages. Number one, exposure towards commodity arbitrage and commodity direction trades can be better executed via a fund. Number two, even in the case of other asset classes, which type, style, instrument to hold can be best decided by a professional money manager. Number three, moderate shuffling or tactical allocation calls by a professional money manager if and when required is difficult to do as an individual investor. Number four, in terms of taxation efficiency, rebalancing or changes to the portfolio can happen without taxation impact. Only if the units of the multi-asset fund are redeemed 
will there be a taxation impact long term or short term investors can take exposure to multiple asset classes through not so large amounts of investment also this structure makes cash available from within the portfolio at the right time while not many investors on their own can shell out cash through correcting asset classes mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully